What is transverse thrust in ships? Thrust can be defined as the propulsive force that drives the vessel through the water against the resistive forces, mostly hydrodynamic. In simple words, the thrust is derived from the propeller's action that is caused due to the rotational motion of the blades, which is translated into linear motion. For our better understanding, we take the simplest case of a conventional single screw vessel with a right-handed propeller, that is, the clockwise motion of the blades, when viewed from the aft, causes the vessel to move in a forward direction, that is, in the direction of its bow. Conversely, from the same position of reference, a left-hand motion or a counterclockwise motion of the same set of blades causes the astern thrust or the tendency of the vessel to move aftward. Now, with regard to transverse thrust, two cases arise. The vessel is in forward motion. When the vessel moves in a forward direction, which is the most common case, the propeller taken for consideration moves in a clockwise or a right-hand sense when viewed from behind. Due to the action of the blade forces in the slipstream of the propeller, there is a high degree of pressure on the starboard side, as the principal action of the propeller blades is towards the right or clockwise direction. The vessel is in a backward motion. Now, what happens in the reverse case? As expected, the opposite phenomenon. For the same propeller, the flow dynamics and pressure patterns are reversed, and the transverse thrust is created at the stern in the opposite direction, that is, port in our case. For an initial transverse thrust directed towards the port at the stern for our right-handed propeller, the bow now tends to turn in the clockwise sense, that is, towards the starboard to complete the moment couple. The position of the point of action of this couple, that is, the pivot point, is now very crucial. Furthermore, the rudder action is not fully effective in this scenario, thus, the effects are increased further. In other words, the steering effects of the rudder are not sufficient enough to suppress the turning action of the transverse thrust component arising from the interaction of the propeller-induced flow and the hull. Also, due to the hydrodynamics of the flow and the propeller, during an astern move, the pressure buildup on the starboard aft ward part of the hull is quite large. Hence, the transverse thrust is quite large towards the port at the stern, and so is the moment produced. Factors affecting transverse thrust and ways to reduce it. Other than the two important cases described above, other factors affect the value or magnitude of the transverse thrust irrespective of the direction of motion. As already mentioned above, the value of the transverse thrust is the highest when a vessel is at low speeds or starting from rest. This is because, during these spans of time, the torque produced from the propeller action is more significantly expended in the transverse component of the thrust as compared to the axial component, as the heading of the vessel is still at lesser speeds. Thus, at slow speeds, there is a higher tendency of the vessel to turn or change its heading as compared to steady higher speeds when there is a continuously high value of axial thrust to move the vessel ahead or astern, overcoming the visible effects of transverse thrust. Therefore, the highest pronounced effects of the transverse thrust are when the vessel is moving astern at low speeds. The depth of the water also plays a crucial role. The effects of heading or turning due to transverse thrust are more pronounced in shallow water than in deeper waters due to hydrodynamic effects on the propeller. The weather and sea states also play a role. The maximum effects of the transverse thrust can be seen in calm and undisturbed waters and conducive weather conditions. During rough conditions, the entire dynamics of the water and the erratic nature of the wind forces create a total state of disorder beyond the possible ways to predict and estimate the correct effects of transverse thrust. Transverse thrust is sometimes an issue, especially during reverse turns, as mentioned, the heading can often be altered. So, other than applying higher power to attain higher speeds, the rudder angle is often altered accordingly by masters and navigators. Uses of transverse thrust Transverse thrust is not always a negative aspect and is often useful. During operations like anchoring or berthing, the transverse thrust is often used to advantage by navigators and merchants by intentionally having an astern move. Often during operations like deep sea cable laying, transverse thrust is often useful. We hope you found this video informative and entertaining. Remember, if you enjoyed what you watched, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content like this.